Hey y'all, Miss Candace, Miss Christy, and Mr. Frank here. Hello. Hey. We just wanted to stop by and let you guys know that we really miss you and we can't wait to see you again. Um, we wanted you to know that we're praying for you and even if things seem really different right now or maybe even a little scary, that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The last time we met, we were actually talking about um, Jesus, right? So we are getting ready to think about Easter coming up and we talked about baby Jesus being born. Remember, Miss Candace thought it was Christmas time and she tried to decorate. Um, well, now I want you to fast forward a few years to Jesus being a child. So one thing that you want to keep in mind whenever you think about the story of Jesus being a child is he had a purpose. Even as a child, he had a purpose. Um, he still wanted to live up to what God had planned for him, which was ultimately to go to the cross for our sins. So. Without further ado, let's watch the video, all of us together, about Jesus as a child. After Jesus was born, wise men followed a star to Bethlehem to find the new king of the Jews. The wise men worshipped Jesus as king. When they left, an angel told Joseph in a dream to leave Bethlehem because King Herod wanted to kill <laughs> Jesus. So Mary, Joseph, and Jesus went to Egypt until Herod died. Oh. Mm -hmm. Then they went back to Israel and lived in Nazareth. Jesus grew up in Nazareth. Every year, Jesus' parents traveled to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. Passover was the biggest holiday for the Jewish people. Many people traveled to Jerusalem to celebrate and remember when God saved his people from slavery in Egypt. When Jesus was 12 years old, Jesus and his family went to Jerusalem together. When it was time to go home, Mary and Joseph began traveling to Nazareth with a large group of people. They didn't notice that Jesus was not with them. They thought he was among the group of travelers. But Jesus was not with the group. He had stayed behind in Jerusalem. Mary and Joseph had been walking for a whole day when they started to look for Jesus. They looked among their relatives and friends, but they could not find him. So Mary and Joseph went back to Jerusalem. They searched everywhere for Jesus. The city was so big and Jesus was just a boy. Finally, they found him at the temple. Jesus was listening to the teachers and asking them questions. Everyone who heard Jesus could hardly believe how much Jesus understood. When Jesus' parents saw him, they were surprised. <gasps> Mary said, Son, why have you done this? Your father and I were worried. We've been looking everywhere for you. Why were you looking for me? Jesus asked. Didn't you know that I had to be in my father's house? But Mary and Joseph did not understand what Jesus was talking about. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus went back to Nazareth with Mary and Joseph. Jesus was always obedient to them, and Mary remembered all of these things. As Jesus grew up, he became even wiser. Mm -hmm. God was pleased with him, and so was everyone who knew him. God sent Jesus to earth with a purpose, even as a child. Jesus wanted to honor God. God blessed Jesus as he got ready to follow his father's plan, to die on the cross and rescue people from sin. Wow, that was a great video, wasn't it? All right, so just to recap, uh, Jesus was left behind in Jerusalem in the temple uh, asking questions of the elders and, and studying God's word. Uh, he didn't do that to be uh, to scare his parents or to disobey them, but he did it to obey his Father in heaven, God. And as Christians, that's what we are to do. That is the most important thing. And uh, so God's word is sovereign. It's above all, and that's that should rule our lives first and foremost, right? 
but in order to get there, and in order for Jesus to know what God was saying to him, he had to be doing uh, at least two things. One, he needed to be reading his Bible, and also he needed to be in prayer. And so uh, I want to challenge y'all to do that, even though we're not coming to church right now, to get your Bible. I know y'all got some extra time right now, so be reading your word, be stuttering, studying, studying the books of the Bible, because when we get back, uh, Miss Christy was telling us just how much she liked pie a minute ago, so y'all need to be ready for that. And No also, pie in quarantine. No pie in quarantine, right? We got, we'll save all the pie for when y'all get back, for when y'all know the books of the Bible. Y'all have extra time to study now. Uh, and also be in prayer. Um, just like when we uh, do prayer requests in here, you can do prayer requests on your own at home. Uh, you can uh, also read your Bible and just use your time wisely to uh, grow your relationship with the Lord. And that's the only way we're going to know what he's saying to us. And also, he will come for you in that and in these unsure times. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed the lesson this week. Hopefully, it won't be virtual much longer. and We'll be back together again really soon. We cannot wait. Like I said, we're praying for you guys, and we're thinking of you constantly. If you have any questions about the lesson today or prayer requests or anything that you would like Miss Christy, Mr. Frank, or myself to respond to, just drop your comments below, and we will answer them as quickly as we can. We love you, and we miss you. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.